And that was the first time we saw like the out order as well. So how difficult was that to figure out where everybody goes? Like I saw like, a lot of people talking about Bo Nickel being really high. So how challenging was that? I'm not kidding you. We literally finalized it today or yesterday. Last night we finalized it uh, right after the weigh-ins. We started moving a couple more things around and then last night we said, all right, this is it. This is the card because we were announcing it tonight. So um, if we didn't announce it tonight, we'd probably still be playing with it next week. Here's it is what fighters, it is now. The fans on the game. Here's to the blood, sweat, and tears on the fame. And here's the eyes and key. You're ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show. All right, boys, we've got some shit to talk about. And before we get into it, hit that like button, roast me in the comments, and hit subscribe. On the weekend, UFC announced the lineup for UFC 300. And at the post fight press conference for UFC 299, Dana White was pressed about Bo Nickel on the card because. Is being put on quite high up on the card, surprisingly high up. Okay, not just, don't forget the guy was fighting on prelims and now he's on the main card, but not only is he on the main card, but he's actually above Charles Oliveira and Armin Sarukian, which is a number one contenders match for the lightweight title. He's above Yuri Proashka and Alexander Rakic. He's above Calvin Qatar and Aljamain Sterling. It's absolutely disgusting that they put Bo Nickel above three former champions and ranked guys as well. They all ranked. We've got Charles Oliveira, ranked number one in the lightweight division. Armin Sarukian, who's ranked number four in the lightweight division. We've got Yuri Proashka, who's ranked number two in the light heavyweight division. Alexander Rakic, who's ranked number five in the light heavyweight division. We've got Aljamain Sterling, who's ranked number two in the bantamweight division. Former champion, just lost the title, who's moving up to the featherweight division, taking on... Number eight ranked Calvin Qatar. What the fuck is going on, boys? This is absolutely disgusting that they've put Bo Nickel that far up. Now, we've talked about the Dana White privilege in the past, but they couldn't be making it any more obvious these days. In fact, it's so blatantly obvious that they don't care if, if you know about Dana White privilege anymore. So it's clear that they're trying to fast-track Bo Nickel to not only get up in the rankings and possibly take the title, but they're also trying to fast-track him to stardom. They, they're telling you to like this guy. They want you to like this guy. They want they want Bo Nickel to be a star. They're really pushing him, this all-American guy. I feel like everyone needs to turn on the guy. Bring in Gordon Ryan. Gordon Ryan, where the fuck are you? Come to MMA. Come save us from the Bo Nickel train. Come smash this guy. Come dominate him like you did in the grappling. I think you can do it in MMA. Come fucking save us, man. We need a guy like you to come in and absolutely fucking dominate. Call the shit out. Be, be a force to reckon with. We don't want these nice fucking guys, these all-American guys. We need people like Gordon Ryan in the UFC. Fighters like Sean Strickland, disruptors, the ones that will say it how it is. That's who we need in the UFC. Not these nice guys like Bo Nickel who are getting gifted opportunity after opportunity to grow the status be promoted and get a title shot that just isn't warranted. And meanwhile, they're absolutely pissing on legends of the sport like Charles, like Yuri, like Armin, the guys that have put in the life and soul into the sport. And what opportunities are they getting? They're getting told you're not as good as Bo Nickel, the guy who's fought on the prelims, the guy who's not even ranked. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.